So on with, uh, what about the Caesars? Um, what about uh, uh, the Gallic Wars and writings of Julius Caesar? Uh, the oldest copy of the manuscripts that we have are from five, about 500 years ago. And, or the oldest one. And uh, I believe there's a total of six. There might be 14. Uh, this is uh, compared to um, the uh, over 6,000 New Testament manuscripts one dating within 30 years of the authorship date or less but I'll use 30 because that's a bigger number um, <clears throat> as for what about the sculptures and stuff like that um most cases they don't have the name on them. I think that the Caesars existed, don't get me wrong. I believe they're firmly rooted in history and that would be foolish to deny them like Anatoly Fomenko does. But uh, going along with this thing, there is the Tel Dan Stelae, there is the Pilot Stone, there is the ancient inscriptions um, that were underneath not the new Vatican not the new St. Peter's that was built 500 years ago but the old St. Peter's that was uh, built during Constantine's time it was underneath those foundations that they also found inscriptions um, then you have the Moabite stone and the Menefta Stelae Menefta Stelae is from ancient Egypt mentioning the uh the Israelites. The Moabite stone mentions King David and gives an account of, uh, of a battle that took place between Omri and Jehu and the account mirrors the account that's found in Kings. Um, it's from another, it's from the other side, the other perspective, the Moabite perspective. And then you have the Tel Dan Stelae again mentions King David. Um, but these are all claimed to be forgeries. These are all forgeries because they mention, uh, you know, things in the Bible. They back up the fact that these kings of Israel and Judah existed and fought wars and uh, that the Israelites existed, you know, 1,500 years ago or whenever the Menef or 1,500 years, 1,500 B.C. or Whenever the Menephtah still lies from, I'd have to recheck. That a, a huge stella that, you know, just talks about all the conquest, this, bo this pharaoh boasting of all these conquests, uh, Manapta. Uh, and, uh, you know, just a side note of, yeah, and we've, you know, crushed the uh, Israelites. They, to uh, many, too many atheists on YouTube, one would be too many, but there's more than that, claim these all as forgeries, which then I'd say all these anonymous busts of, you know, of, uh, of Caesars and stuff like that. But what about even the ones with writing on them with the names on uh, carved underneath the bust? Why can't, why wouldn't those be, uh, why wouldn't those be, um, forged, you know? Maybe later Roman emperors created this lineage to back them up, just like they did with, uh, you know, Romulus and Remus, you know, and the She-Wolf. So it's, yeah, just a, you go into madness. And there actually is a person that believes all this stuff, and it's Holy Fomenko, who believes that uh, Jesus Christ was a Byzantine emperor who was crucified in the 11th century in the city of Constantinople and that um, the building of Jerusalem or the rebuilding of Jerusalem as told in the books of Nehemiah and Ezra are, is actually St. Petersburg and that uh, 
whenever it says Jerusalem in the Bible, it's talking about St. Petersburg, and that <coughs> the first and worldwide religion was this form of uh, Christian, called pre-Christian period, and you have the Christian period, and only 500 years ago did we start getting things like Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Taoism, and that they were all break-offs of Christianity. Um, yeah. He was a communist mathematician in the Soviet Union and came up with this foolish, foolish idea. Basically, anything before 1492, all history before 1492 is a myth. That history was created by two Renaissance um, men, ren people, men in the Renaissance, not Renaissance, men in the Renaissance, scholars, and they forged the entirety of history that uh, the pyramids of Gaza and um, Greece and ancient Rome and the uh, kings of England and, you know, Hundred Years War, that these were all happening simultaneously. That uh, there's really no nothing is really older than 1,500 years, that civilization began about 1,500 years ago to 2,000 years ago. Peace to you.